For one of these two Texas Bullet Ant Queens, today could be their first and their last day in my care as I combine two of them in order to try to start a two queen colony of this species. As I release the first queen onto my hand, the first thing I'm going to do to minimize the chance of either of these queens dying is to feed them both at the same time, so if their jaws are busy holding a drop of nectar, they won't be able to bite onto each other, which hopefully means they won't sting either, and both of them should be able to get along. I place a drop of red hummingbird nectar on my index finger, and the queen crawls down from my other hand and begins drinking at the red liquid. Now, this encounter could end up going very well if the two queens easily accept each other, or it could result in death. At best, the queens might only tap each other with their antenna in an action called antenna boxing, or at worst they could start biting each other and even stinging each other to death. With the first queen busy drinking hummingbird nectar, I place her down into the petri dish which is going to be their home and she crawls down by herself. Now it's time to get the second queen out, do the same with her, give her a drop of nectar, and then will come the introduction between the two queens. This queen was being a little bit more stubborn than the last, she was refusing to come out of her test tube, so in a desperate attempt to get her out without having to shake the tube badly, I placed a drop of nectar right outside the entrance of the tube, and much to my surprise, she started sniffing it right away and slowly began crawling out as she started drinking the nectar. I pulled the tube away from underneath her, and happily she began drinking the red hummingbird nectar with a drop forming between her jaws. With both queens now busy with their drop of nectar, it was the moment of truth. I would have to introduce their queens and there wasn't much I would be able to do in the process. If they really started killing each other, I would try to interfere, but it was up to them to see what would now happen. The queens begin rapidly tapping each other with their antenna, which is a form of aggression. It's known as antenna boxing, through which they try to establish dominance with each other without actually having to attack each other. If one of them ends up dying, the other one could also end up injured, so it wouldn't be beneficial to either of them. I place the second queen in the dish, but instead of going to the first one, she just ran away while the first one continued drinking her nectar. As she walked out of the dish, the second queen started following her, and now we would see what would happen. The antenna boxing continued quite a while, as the queen on the left seemed to be the more dominant one as she hovered over the queen on the right. Right here, it seemed like the one on the left actually wanted to possibly bite the other queen, but as you can see, its jaws were full of nectar and it couldn't do much. They continued the tapping back and forth until the two actually walked off the petri dish and now onto the floor. They were done with their drops of nectar, and although they weren't attacking each other, they didn't seem friendly either. The one on the bottom just stood there guarding its position, while the one on the top would open its jaws slightly. As they crawled back on the petri dish, queen number one which seemed the more dominant one started pulling queen number two from its jaws into the petri dish until it walked in. They continued battling in and out of the petri dish for a little while, tapping each other with their antenna and sometimes grabbing each other by the mandibles. After a while though, and about an hour of observing them, both of them walked into the petri dish and everything seemed to be fine for now. These two queens have a long way to go until they are actually able to hopefully found their own colony, but I will keep you guys updated on the progress of these two, and hopefully within a couple of months, we have a two queen colony of this species once again, and we get to feed them some awesome insects.